Hello and welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this quick Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can insert a new column in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to show you several ways to do it and let's get started. <music> First, take a look at this worksheet. I have uh, several columns of data here, column A, B, C, D, E, and I want to insert a new column in column C, and the existing data from column C will move to the right, okay? So to do that, I'm going to select the column, and to select the column, you'll have to click on the column name, which is here. Whenever you hover your mouse on your column name, the mouse cursor will change like this, a black drop-down arrow, and whenever it has changed, if you click here, the entire column will be selected. Now, if I right click here and if I click here insert, a new column has been inserted. Okay, so if I press Ctrl Z and it will undo. And now let's show you another way. So our column C is selected from the home tab here from the insert drop down. If I select insert sheet columns, a new column has been inserted. Now, if you have a numpad on your keyboard, you can press Ctrl and plus from the numpad and that will insert a new column now suppose you don't have a numpad on your keyboard you can press alter i c and that will also create a new column from your selected column names okay now you will have to remember whenever you insert a column it will always create a new column at the left of your selection so i have selected column c a new column will be placed here in column C and all the data will be moved to the right. Now what if you need to add multiple columns? So I'm going to add three columns. So I'm going to select B, C, D and I clicked on the column B name and dragged it to the right and I have selected three columns and now if I right click and click on insert you can see I have created three new columns. Okay. So if you need to insert multiple columns you'll have to select multiple columns before you insert it. So the number you select before will be the new column number okay so if you have selected two columns you will be able to insert two new columns okay now let's show you another trick if i select b i mean column b and press ctrl and if i select column c and then i select column d and remember i didn't select column b and drag to the right to select all this so i have selected column b press the control and click on each column name that I wanted to select okay now right click and if I click on insert you can see we have inserted new column after each column that has data so we have selected B and here is a new column we have selected C and C data has been moved to column E and we have created a new column here in column D in this way you can insert new column maintaining a certain column gap. This is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can, support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.